Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix your washed out and under saturated skin tones just using a few adjustment layers in Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. So what we're going to do first, guys, is just going to go ahead and open up a photo that has got washed or under saturated skin tones. So I've got uh, this photo here, which I got off of pexels.com. Now, washed out skin tones can happen for a variety of reasons. Either you've shot in poor or bad lighting, but in this particular case is to do with the red of the top. Often you'll find that colors can sometimes look undersaturated if they are next to another saturated object. And in this particular case, because of the bright red of the actual top, it is making the skin tones look undersaturated within the photo. So how can we combat this? Well, we're gonna be using a couple of adjustment layers, but we're also gonna be using layer masks to specifically target the skin tones. So firstly, what we're going to do is actually go ahead and correct the white balance of this photo, because I actually find that in this particular instance, there is a little bit too much green in the shadows, and that is sometimes throwing off the skin tones overall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our adjustment layers icon found in the bottom right-hand corner, and we're gonna go ahead and select curves. Now, in this particular instance, if we go ahead and zoom in, we want to find something with a neutral tone to it. Now, you can quickly watch this video here in the bottom right-hand corner, or you could go ahead and just follow the steps. We are going to be using the white of the eyes as a way of selecting something with a neutral tone. And you could do this by selecting either something that is white, dark, or something that is gray, something that's got no color with it aka a gray card. But in this particular instance, because there isn't one, we're gonna be using the whites of the eyes. So we'll go ahead and select that like so. So that is our small gray eyedropper tool. And we're gonna go ahead and select the whites of the eye you can see here. And we're gonna go ahead and click. Now that was very subtle change, but if I quickly zoom into the skin tones and show you the before and after, you can see we've introduced a lot more pink and magenta to the skin tones, which makes them a lot more natural. Adding less green can sometimes make someone look quite sick or quite ill. So adding more magenta can actually fix the problem with the overall skin tones. Lovely. So what we can do is we're going to go ahead and just zoom back out again. So as you can see, we've got our curves adjustment layer here. Now what we want to do is specifically target the skin tones. So what we're going to be using is the selective color adjustment layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to select the one right at the bottom called selective color. Now in selective color, you have got two main sliders. You've got your main slider picker, so you've got where all the colors are, but then you've got your main four sliders. You've got your cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the selective color adjustment layer, I've in fact created a very in-depth video that you can watch here, but the main premise of it is you can use your each of those four sliders to affect all six colors that you can find in the photo. That is cyan, magenta, yellow, but also red, green, and blue. So what we're gonna do is because obviously most of the skin tones are found within the reds and the yellows, they're the ones that we're going to be targeting. So we're gonna to go to our color slider here. We're gonna go ahead and select the color of red, and we want to go ahead and increase the amount of red found in the skin tones. So we can do that by going to our cyan slider because cyan is the opposite of red, I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the amount of cyan. So as you can see, we've actually increased the amount of red because we've reduced the amount of its opposite color on the color wheel. Very nice. And in this particular case, I'm just actually gonna increase the amount of magenta as well, but we're only gonna do that by about 10%. But the main slider we're affecting is the cyan slider. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our drop down again, and we're gonna go ahead and select yellows. And we're gonna do the same thing again, but this one's a lot easier. We don't have to change the opposite color because we've got our yellow slider here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the amount of that. So as you can see, we've increased the overall saturation of those specific color tones. Now in this particular case, as a quick tip, I always like adding in magenta to the skin tones. It makes them a lot more impactful and a lot more saturated without necessarily affecting much. And it's a very subtle change. So I'm gonna to go to our magenta slider here and I'm also going to increase that like so. And as you can see, already the skin tones are really, really starting to pop. Okay, so once we've done those, again, you can change them all the way up to 100% if you want, but I find subtle changes can really aid the photo without making it look too oversaturated. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll turn the properties off. There's realistically only one more adjustment layer we're going to need, and that is the hue and saturation adjustment layer. This is really good, is again, name on the tin. If you want to change the, either the hue 
or you want to change the saturation of that hue. So what we're gonna do is go down to the adjustment layers again, guys, for the very last time, and we're gonna go ahead and choose hue and saturation. Now, we don't want to choose master here, we want to click on that drop down, and again, we want to be affecting these two main colors, the reds and the yellows. So we'll go ahead and select the reds first, and we're gonna go ahead and increase the saturation to probably around about 15% in this particular case. And then again, drop down again, we're gonna go ahead and select yellows, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and select around about, oh, I think about 13% in this particular case. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and select magentas and ever so slightly just increase the magentas there to a lesser of degree to around 7%. Now, the problem with this particular effect is affected the entire photo and we don't necessarily want that. We just want to affect the skin tones. So what we're gonna do is quickly use a layer mask. So every time you create an adjustment layer, you get a layer mask with it. So as we've got this hue and saturation layer mask here, we want to invert this so it is black. So we can do that by pressing Command I. That will invert your layer mask from white, which is opaque, so the actual layer mask is affecting the photo below it, to O black, which is uh, transparent, so you won't be able to see it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from black and we're gonna paint back in the skin tones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our brush tool found on the left-hand side. We're gonna make sure that, uh, let's go to the top here, make sure our hardness is zero, and we want a fairly decent sized brush and then we want our flow to be 100%. So we're gonna zoom into the skin tones and basically just paint back in those skin tones again. And as you can see, it's a very subtle change, but you have added now more saturation in to the skin tones without affecting the rest of the photo, which is really important, especially as we're right next to this red top, which really does suck the life and color out of the rest of the photo. It is so very much intense. So you can also do to the hair, if it's more of a brunette or ginger hair, you can also add a little bit more brightness, a little bit more saturation to that as well. So if I go ahead and zoom out, what I can do is show you the before, which you can see very green and fairly undersaturated against the uh, red top, and then the after. And as you can see, we've overall firstly fixed the white balance, but also brought back more of those magentas, yellow and red tones that you can find in the skin tones to make them look more saturated. And there we go, guys. Here is the before and here is the after.